Yeah, HQ, welcome aboard. I'm Eric Casilius. One of the favorite storylines of novels, TV shows, movies is sort of a odd couple type of theme. This guy and this guy together, paired together, living together, going cross country together. How about in the ring together? That's right. They don't look alike. They don't come from the same place. They certainly don't have the same resume. But it was about to be on like, well, as they used to say, Donkey Kong. What happened? Let's get to it. Let's take a look. Floyd Mayweather, Logan Paul, eight round exhibition. All right, you know Floyd Mayweather, right? 50 and 0, five division world champ, 44 years old, fighting for the first time in two and a half years. He said, I'm retired from boxing, but I'm not retired from making money. And then that guy, Logan Paul, the new school, 20 million subscribers on YouTube. 0-1 in his professional boxing career, 18 years younger, and came out on fire late round one. Backs Mayweather in, flurrying, flurrying. What's going on here? Logan Paul's brother, Jake Paul, you know, he's also, he likes it. Now, uh, Brian Campbell still said round one score 10-9 Mayweather. He knows more than me, but I like Paul in that round. Round three, Logan Paul throws the uppercut. Floyd counters the left hook. Take another look. Mayweather got rounds two and three. He also got round four. And then in round five, more Mayweather. It was not completely one-sided. It was just Mayweather was a little better, right? Eighth and final round. Logan Paul going the distance. A little showboating. He did win the last round, that's for sure. So Mayweather and Logan Paul go the distance in the exhibition. It was fun. And now it's over. Logan Paul, I mean, got at least one round. I would think a lot of people had him at two. I think most people would say more, Mayweather had the majority of rounds. He certainly had more punches landed, despite the fact that he threw half as many as Logan Paul. You see there, Logan Paul not exactly economical with that 13% punch land rate. I knew if it went the distance, I, 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 I won, technically. Um, but that wasn't the game plan. When you're fighting a guy like Floyd, you know, the legend, the boxer, uh, kind of relying on him to, to figure out the game plan and then just playing off his. Um, I, I think I, I got him with a good shot in that first round, which kind of threw him off a little bit. And, I mean, yeah, surviving against Floyd Mayweather, like, is great. He's my second opponent. He's my second opponent. Floyd Mayweather is my second opponent. And, and, and so, yeah, I mean, you know, I'm happy. I'm happy. Uh, it's good. It was good fun. All right, Logan Paul goes the distance and definitely wins, you know, some portions of this fight. He had only boxed professionally once before. It didn't go that well. Now, this was one where they didn't have judges. They had a ref, but no judges. They don't have official scoring. This was an exhibition. The only way you knew for sure that you would have a winner is if it was a knockout. And you see what his resume is right there in the middle. 20 million social media subscribers. They hope that would translate into pay-per-view buys for an exhibition with the greatest of all time. I wanted to get the people on the show and he was fighting to survive. As you guys can see, um, every time he punched, he a clinch. Every time he a punch, he a clinch. He was the bigger guy and um, a little awkward. His background is wrestling, if I'm not mistaken. So he was good at tying me up. So a guy that came in over 200 and some pounds. I came in at 155, but no excuse. I had fun tonight. And, um, you know, I go out there to put on a show. And I, and I really believe that he was, you know, just going a distance. That was a win for him. So he was happy with going a distance. Well, you, you can be as good as Floyd Mayweather. You can't be better because 50 and 0 is 50 and 0. 27 uh, KOs. I mean, he's got 12 world titles and five different weight classes. I mean, are you kidding? Now, Floyd Mayweather never fought anybody who weighed in over 154 pounds. Paul weighed in at 190. How about that? This was definitely an odd couple with Mayweather being out of his comfort zone. All right, here we go. Let's get our guys in. Luke Thomas, Brian Campbell. 
uh, we knew this was going to be a little different, and we knew this was going to be something we didn't really know what to expect. What did you just experience? I'm going to make it that general and say go. BC, start us off. Yeah, we saw we saw an event. We saw a little bit of a sparring match. And, and look, if there's a winner in this, there's no winner on the scorecards. Going the distance for Logan Paul, th that's a big achievement against somebody. It, it, Floyd Mayweather's ability and still what he can do at 44 and the gap in experience and all that stuff. But I don't know if everyone's going hap home happy that Logan Paul is the moral winner. What we saw was that he was competent enough defensively, along with his size, along with his stamina, to not get knocked out. To not, to not crumble on his own doing. To take the lead in punches and set himself up to be countered. So because of that, we saw kind of a, 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 a crawled stalemate here. Of Floyd controlling the action. Yeah, he pressed it, the fight in the middle rounds. But he seemed to be content, just as Logan was, to survive and go the distance at the end of the day. Yeah, I mean, you asked what we experienced. And I'm not trying to say this overly pejoratively, but just being honest, it, I experienced boredom. Uh, I thought the Jared Hurd fight, the second one in the car, was pretty good. I thought Ojo Cinco had, you know, some uh, moral victory himself. And then the co-main event was what it was because of they had a late replacement there. And listen, in the end, Floyd Mayweather kind of outboxed Logan Paul. I think Logan Paul is your big winner tonight by a pretty considerable margin in the sense of, you know, what he was able to do versus expectations. And I think Floyd had a bit of a wake up call here. Floyd completely outboxed, and let's be clear about it, but this whole thing is predicated on, on whoever is the person who's the real fighter doing something that in, you know it brings massive excitement, usually a knockout, some kind of stoppage, or, or you know a, a dominant performance. And he was the better boxer, but at 44, you know, I think he looked around this time and he realized, he, he, even as a, a understanding he's a retired fighter, there's been a lot of decline he's experienced. This was something of a wake-up call for him. Okay, so what's the legacy from this? What happens now? I mean, when I look back on this five years from now, is this like, this is the first time I saw Floyd Mayweather look old? Because that's kind of what Paul said in his presser. Is this the last time we ever saw Floyd Mayweather do anything? Is this, this was a one-shot deal? Is this, we now start to see these YouTubers getting shots all over the place because, you know, what Paul did tonight? What's the legacy here, in your opinion, looking at the crystal ball? Luke. Yeah, I think it's going to end up being probably the last time you see Floyd Mayweather in a ring boxing. And I think, you know, to, to Luke's point, you heard kind of a humble re response in Floyd saying, look, I'm not 21 anymore. And I think he learned that. I think maybe he looked in the future and saw, I can keep doing this. If they're going to keep paying me money and I can, you know, televise robbery or whatever he used to call it on the way in, it turned out to be a tougher fight than he expected. But again, the problem with that was you weren't necessarily promised competitiveness in this but you were promised fireworks and entertainment. You figured Logan Paul was going to go for broke and get try to get the knockout, and if he didn't get it, he was going to get knocked out. Because that didn't happen, maybe there's a little bit of sour taste, but in terms of what this does to this industry, not the boxing industry, this was never really going to affect in, in any sort overly positive or really negative unless it was a debacle, regular boxing. This is celebrity, crossover boxing. I don't think either one of these guys, Logan Paul or Floyd Mayweather, is long for doing this again. I think for Logan Paul, this was his mountaintop moment to prove to himself with his star power behind him in other areas of entertainment that he could do this. And again, hats off to him for finishing and going eight rounds and showing some positives in there. But I don't think you're going to see either of them again in that regard. Can the bubble survive and last? It's only going to do by competition and the action they can put forth. Jake Paul, Logan's brother against Tyron Woodley in August, that could be fireworks. But if it's going to keep looking like this, we're going to go back to traditional boxing. Yeah, pretty quickly. I mean, if you look at the history of booms inside combat sports that featured a lot of freak show exhibitions or sort of craziness, they they burn really intensely, and then they just kind of peter out almost pretty quickly. But they can last for several years. So I don't know exactly when this is going to end. Not anytime soon. Obviously, his brother's going to be fighting on Showtime in August, although that's a pretty different kind of fight. But still, you know, you've got a YouTuber versus somebody who's more established anyway. Uh, what I would say is, listen, on the path to the bubble bursting, and not like this probably facilitates it. It wasn't, if you are going to engineer a night for entertainment, it, it has to be entertaining. It wasn't really all that entertaining. So this will probably contribute to something, but it's not going to be one of these situations where if you pull the plug, all the water drains. It'll be accumulative. People will just decide, I've kind of seen how this thing, thing goes. I don't need to see it anymore. Tonight was probably one that you know, is going to push it a little bit further on that journey. I mean, they want to see a train wreck. Right, they want to see a train. The, the train stayed on the track. See that you know more news at eleven. <laughs> right, it was just it was a competitive, not competitive. It was a ordinary boxing sparring contest. That's not that's not train wreck. Okay, it was 
billed as something that was going to be different, and it wasn't all that different, but I, I still enjoyed watching it, and it was something to do on a, on, on a Sunday. Want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.